We'll, we'll talk. Oh, I've died. Piece of garbage. No, I jumped to my death. No, I didn't. Oh, now I jumped to my death. Hey guys, it's Justine, and today we are checking out the new Sony M9 monitor. We've got H9 wireless headphones and the new H3 wired headphones. These are all a part of Sony's new gaming brand called InZone, specifically catering towards gaming accessories. So, first up, let's open up this monitor. Oh boy, here it is. Can you still see me? Can you still see me? No, no, you can't. Oh, uh, that's fine. This isn't about me, it's about you. So I'm very interested to see what Sony does with this new brand called InZone. It's gonna be kind of, it's kind of like gaming focused. So it's a whole new line of accessories, starting with this new monitor and headphones. Look at you, open up. Welcome home. We've got power adapter, cable. This looks like it's the base. Oh my gosh, it looks exactly like the PlayStation. Instructions, more paperwork. Oh, there it is, there it is. Oh boy, oh, this is exciting. Okay, check this out. Woo! I'm just excited that this has a speaker in it because I've had some gaming monitors in the past where they don't have speakers. I don't normally play using those speakers, but there are times where I just kind of want to have speakers on my monitor. So it's kind of crazy how that is something that sometimes overlooked. Yeah, buddy, this looks good. You look good. It looks like we have three USB ports here and another that you can connect to your PC. We have a display port, Thunderbolt, another display port, and two HDMI ports, and this is where our power is. So here's our power button, and this little joystick is how we control the menu features. Let's take a little peeky peek at our instructions. attached. Now we go like that. Look at, wow. This looks so good. Oh my gosh. I absolutely love it. I love that it's adjustable. Love to see it. This is the Sony M9 monitor. It's a 27 inch 4K display with HDR, 144 Hertz refresh rate, support for Nvidia G-Sync and HDMI 2.1. The design is very PlayStation 5 inspired with an adjustable base. It has customizable LED lights on the back and built in speakers. It works on PC, Apple, Xbox, and of course, if you're using it with a PS5, it has some exclusive features. So here's our headphones. There are actually three new headphones that Sony's releasing, the H9, the H7, and the H3. And we have the H3 and the H9 here to check out today. But the difference between the three is the H9 is $299. It has digital noise canceling, 32 hours of battery life, soft leather ear cups, and it's wireless and Bluetooth compatible. Now the H7 is priced at $229 without noise cancellation, which will give you extra battery life, so around 40 hours or so. It is also wireless and and Bluetooth capable. Now the H3s are only 99 and they are wired with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and there's a wired USB-A adapter for your PC gaming needs. Now all three models do have spatial audio so you're not gonna be losing any type of quality there. So it really depends, do you want wireless? Do you want wired? And of course the price as well. So the decision is yours. This has the same mic muting and unmute as the H9s and these are perfect for plugging directly into your PS5. Let's open up the H9s first. Any excuse to use a knife, like I'm gonna use it. Like do I need to cut this tiny little circle sicker? <laughs> no. All right, we're greeted with a USB-C cable. Here they are, ooh, look at this. Here's our little USB wireless stick and the headphones. Oh yeah, oh, they're so light too. Ooh. Oh, stickers, oh my goodness. I don't know why I got so excited about that, but I, but I did. The H9 have a comfortable fit, 360 spatial sound for gaming, 32 hours of battery life. It also has this little multi-use USB switch so you can switch between PC and PS5 using this USB stick for optimal performance. These have active noise cancellation, an adjustable volume wheel, and these conveniently placed buttons. It will automatically mute the microphone when the mic is placed in the upward position, and it will unmute when it's down. You can have two Bluetooth connections 
so you'll be able to play your game and you can also have another connection where you can chat on Discord or listen to music from another source. I really like that you can adjust the listening experience through the InZone Hub app. It gives you this little option so you can scan your ears and you'll be able to get an optimized sound tailored to your ear shape. Mm, look at this. Time to game. Hit me up. That's it. Game over. So the top of this is also very soft. The cups along the ears, very squishy, very soft. And it did kind of give a nice feel, like it didn't feel like it was hugging my head too tight, which I really like because sometimes headphones, especially when you're gaming for a really long time and you're wearing headphones, you do not want them to be squeezing your brain because you will end up with a headache. And we've all been there. So here's the H3s. I feel like these are gonna sell very well because they're $99 and they're wired. And I feel like this is sometimes exactly what you need when you want a game. You just want a nice pair of headphones that plug directly in and you don't have to worry about anything else, charging, nothing. It's just ready to go. So I'm very excited to try these. Here it is. Look at these. So they do look very similar. The first thing you'll notice though is the microphone is actually black. So you'll be able to have a little bit of a different look. These ear cups also aren't the leather material. They do seem like they're a little more of a fabric -y feel. Oh, here's our USB-A 235 millimeter headphone adapter. Definitely need this. Stickers! Yes! All right. Here they are, check them out, the H3s. So here's the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And like I showed you earlier, this is the little adapter that you can plug in. So you can plug this directly into your PC to use it through USB. Let's put them on, Let's see how the feel is. Very comfortable, feels very similar to the other ones. Of course I have hair that is kind of covering, so I don't really know if the leather or the soft kind of little satiny feel is different. I mean, it feels very similar, not gonna lie. Very comfortable, microphone. Mute, unmute. Mute, unmute. The H3s have the same comfortable fit, 360 spatial sound, and they are about the same size as the H9s. There's no need to recharge these since they are wired, and the adapter allows you to use both the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and USB type A devices for your PC. This has the same mic muting and unmute as the H9s, and these are perfect for plugging directly into your PS5. Now that we've unboxed everything, time to go set it up. Everything's all set up. We've got our PlayStation and we have our PC underneath the desk. So everything is all connected. And first we're gonna start with some PC gaming. Now this little dongle here, like I showed you guys earlier, has a little switch on it for PS5 or PC. So this is gonna connect to our wireless H9 headphones. So since I'm using PC first, we're gonna switch it to PC and plug this in and we're gonna be connected. And now they are all connected. You can see that they're no longer pulsating. It's just glowing a nice little color there and we're ready to game. Oh, whoa, they're already on! Okay, hello, hello, can anyone hear me? Um, Justine uh, has entered the chat. I actually got a chance to test this out in New York before I got my hands on it here in my studio. They had them lined up and comparing them to other different monitors that are basically in line with this one. Whatever monitor you happen to be using at the time, most of the time they're gonna look pretty great. It's when you start comparing them side by side or you've gone from a lower end model and then upgrading to say something like the new M9. That's why you really start seeing the differences. The thing that I noticed having this up against some other monitors is how deep the blacks are. With the HDR, this really does bring out all of the colors and the highlights, and it is incredibly noticeable. Let's switch to our PC so I can show you guys the InZone hub, where you can actually go in and customize different things like the LED lights, you can customize the crosshair, which I am actually very excited to try out when you're playing first-person shooter games. So here it is, this is the InZone hub. This is where you can adjust all sorts of settings. So right now we're in the display settings, so you can do an auto picture mode, so you can turn that off or you can turn it on. Here's some preset modes that you can have all set. Gaming assist, you can set the response time to fast or faster. In the device settings, this is where you can adjust some of the volume settings for your headphones or the speakers. And you can also personalize the LEDs. So when you scroll down here, this will let you pick which color you want to change it to. We're gonna change it to magenta, please. Yep, 
love it. Now that the headphones are plugged in, you can see here they just popped up right in the in-zone hub, and this will give you a bunch of different options. You can adjust the volume, game chat balance, you can turn the noise canceling on, off, and you can even set up the spatial sound personalization, and that's where you take a photo of your ears, and it automatically will adjust to your ear shape, which is pretty cool. I think everything is set up to my liking. Uh, let's play some games, shall we? Can you say something, Jake? Um. Halo is not as fun as we think it is. So I can't hear you. Good. Okay, now say something. Uh, Halo is a great game. Halo is a great game. I heard you. Hello? Who wants to play the game? Yep, that's me. Look at me. I do five time. Let's. Oh, yeah. Hey, noobs, you're going to get pwned. Yeah, I got. Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not ready. I need to, re need to re I gotta reload. Oh, God. Oh, God. Somebody talk to me. Here's the problem. I don't even know how to throw a grenade on a PC. Somebody trying to shoot me? You trying to shoot me? You want to play? You want to go? You want to go? You want to go? Hmm? Are you seeping or are you dead? You seepy? Oh, wow. The spatial audio, though, is incredible. Hey, pig. Do you want to die? Yep, punched you right straight in the face. Straight in the face. Oh, shoot. All right. This looks great. This looks incredible. I'm very into it. But first of all, I need to know how to throw a grenade. Oh man, the footsteps, it's wild. Cause like, I, it, it feels like they're, it feels like I'm actually here. Like I am, I am here. I'm yelling so much because <laughs> in my head, I don't hear myself. For not touching a mouse and a keyboard in a very long time, I think I'm doing pretty good. And I will, I will pat myself on the back. I'm here, get away. This is my perch. Come here, pig. Show you, oh shoot, show your face. How's our team doing? Okay, I have the most kills on my team. That says something. Something's wrong. I oh, was your lead leading killer and you didn't even... Um, anyway, the graphics look incredible. The blacks are very deep and the sound is amazing. So far, I'm really impressed. And the other thing that I like is that I can adjust this too. So on the back, there's a little trigger toggle joystick, whatever you want to call it. And when you push that, that brings up your menu system, which is great because this gives you full access to basically everything that you're going to need to do. So you can just click over to picture modes. You can change your input. You have the USB hub. You have all of the options that you would have inside of the end zone gaming hub on the computer right here on the display. But I actually would like to test out these. These are the H3s, which are wired so I could just plug them in. All right, let's try these ones on. Oh yeah, nice and adjustable. They feel very similar, but I can already tell like the noise cancellation, like those ones instantly have like a seal, like they just like suction to your head. It already blocks out the sound. Now I do like this because I can just plug this right into the PlayStation controller. I automatically have audio. Um, hello, who wants to hop on the sticks? Anybody? Nope, okay, mute. So let's, this is gonna be actually a surprise to me, maybe a surprise to you. I've actually never played this Spider-Man game and it has been like the number one most talked about thing since the PlayStation has been released. I've played it very briefly doing some demos, but I've never done the entire playthrough. So this is definitely a crime that I have committed. I realize this, but I think today it's gonna be the day. I'm going to unplug this so that you can hear the audio and hear the speakers. I mean, they sound pretty decent. I mean, they're obviously not like the best speakers in the world, but the fact that this does have that built in, I'm very excited about it. I really like this monitor. It's almost like the perfect size. I feel like I've sometimes made the mistake of thinking that I need to have a larger monitor to play games on. And I actually feel like this 27 inch is the perfect size. Here we go. Oh, I've hit some trees. Here we go. We're going up. We're going up. The one thing that I can obviously tell is how incredible the colors look and having a 144 hertz display, everything is smooth, it's seamless, and it looks incredible. I really love the interface. I really actually like the end zone hub, the fact that it all just connects automatically and I can make all of my changes in there. I love the customizable LED. I love the fact that I can just adjust this. A lot of times monitors don't let you adjust the height like that. So that is really, really cool. Oh gosh, okay. Hold on a second, web strike. Great, took care of business. Anyway, this is just a first look at, oh gosh, we're fighting again. 
I'm not ready. I, I need to tell my people that we have to go. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. This was a first look at the new M9 monitor by Sony, and it's really exciting to see this new in-zone brand and some of the first products that are coming out under that. I'm looking forward to checking this out, and I feel like I have found my new gaming monitor. I'm so excited to actually finish playing this game. So with that, I will put links in the description if you guys want to get information about any of the stuff that I talked about today, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Tap R1 repeatedly, okay? Oh, I'm sorry.